Hello, welcome to another edition of This Is My Architecture. My name is Ryan and I'm joined by Jonathan from Rappi. Jonathan, welcome to This Is My Architecture. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about what Rappi does. Rappi is a Latin America super app offering users fast delivery of a range of products from restaurant food, supermarket, and pharmacy, a suite of financial services, and a platform for booking experiences like concerts, hotel stays, and flights. Great. We have an architectural di diagram in front of us right here. Um, before we dive into this, um, let's talk about Rappi Pay, which this is th what this pertains to. Rappi Pay is the financial vertical of Rappi. It started three years ago, and it grew, became exponential pretty quick. Um, we had a pretty small team then, and we knew that we had to build a platform simple to use for a quickly growing developer team. Uh, scalable, reliable, secure, and cost efficient. Mm -hmm. So we built this platform that is mostly based on Kubernetes. We started using KOps, so our Kubernetes engine. But as we scale, we noticed that managing the Kubernetes control plane was a hard um, operational world for us. Yeah. So we quickly moved to EKS. Um, our EKS clusters are composed by spot instances and for on-demand instances. That was a uh, key for us for scaling cost efficiently. We're using spot ins for, for that operation. And that was um, great for not having to manage that part of the, the scaling to make this cost efficient. Okay, makes sense. And um, you've got some other uh, pieces here and components, so, so can you walk us through what uh, each of these might mean and how they interact with the architecture? Yes, um, our end users comes into the, our microservices through CloudFront. We are using CloudFront for early TLS termination and also for caching. Mm -hmm. We also have WAF here, and then the traffic goes into our ingress um, controllers through to ALB and to AKS, mm -hmm. and the traffic between our, our microservices inside the cluster and ac across clusters is happening in the, in the mesh. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, rapid need to communicate with several partners, and that's it's mostly taking place using Direct Connect here. Gotcha. Okay, great. Um, You've also got a suite of services down here um, that looks like a persistent layer. Um, talk to us a little bit more about, about this layer here of the architecture. Yes, um, I mentioned that the platform should be simple to use for the developers, so we created our custom microservices API where the developers um, can handle the entire life cycle of their microservices. They can create microservices, they can deploy them, and they can also create databases, relational databases, document databases. If they need a cache, they can create a cache. And if they need to publish to a topic or consume, they can make all the things happen through, through this layer. And it's great for us having managed, AWS managed services because we can focus on adding value in, in this layer instead of taking care of the control of the underlying and scaling and that makes making sense. that reliable. Yeah, I, you want to hide away a lot of that complexity from your developers to make it simple and easy to scale and for them to use as well. So Of course, Kubernetes and Istio are powerful technologies, but there's a lot of things that could be wrong at scale. So developers doesn't even know where the applications are running or in which are RDS instance the, their data is living. Yep, makes sense. Um, and in terms of your transactions and your throughput, what, what sorts of numbers are you seeing now with this, with this sort of architecture? Today, um, this architecture um, is, processing around, is processing thousands of transactions uh, per hour. Mm -hmm. We have around 15,000 pods running, wow. to 300 developers and 400 deployments per day with this platform. Fantastic! That's ex that's uh, it's awesome growth. Um, very cool to see that you've you've built this architecture um, and the tremendous growth that you're seeing with uh, within Rappi Pay. Uh, you should be uh, very well served for years to come. So thank you, uh, Jonathan, and thank you all for watching. This is my architecture. Mm -hmm.